What's up? So a couple months ago, I saw a whole bunch of videos about this stuff called Suguru, and I went out and bought a pack just to try to figure out some uses for it around a drum set, but they were actually nice enough to send me another little package. So if you've never heard of Suguru before, definitely check out their website because they can describe what it is way better than I can. So let's take a look at what I came up with. So this first use is pretty common and they actually feature this on their website, but this is my cymbal bag. This is like the first cymbal bag I ever owned. It's really basic, there's only one pouch and that's what I like about it. You know, there's not a thousand little compartments and you know, little storage things. So I just like this bag, so I've used it for forever basically, but the zippers broke off a couple years ago. So to fix that, I used paper clips, but they kept bending and breaking off. So to fix that, I soldered them together but still, it's really hard to get a good grab on them. And also at like a, a gig where there's poor lighting, it's hard to see them. So you have to like feel around the bag to find the zipper. So to fix both of those problems, I'm gonna wrap the paper clips with Suguru. So like I just said, it can be hard to see the paper clips sometimes. So for the highest contrast and color, I'm gonna use the white package. The directions say to roll it into a ball before you apply it, so I did that, and then I flattened it out to the, the rough shape that I wanted, and then basically I just squished it over the paper clip. And now one other thing I want to mention is these paper clips are like giant, so they're way too big, but when I was doing this, it was kind of too late, I didn't realize it until after the fact, but if I was to do this again, or if you're following along at home, I would suggest you use smaller paper clips. And then you just gotta let it dry, and that is how you fix your old crusty broken off zippers on your cymbal bag with Suguru. And now the second thing I want to address is one of my biggest pet peeves about drums, and that's the fact that there's no good place to put a drum key. About a year ago, I made this little table for the side of my drum set, and I made it for my laptop, so it's really not that big. So every time I use a key, I'll put it on the table, but then I'll come back the next day and I'll have my laptop with me. And since the table's so small, I'll just brush the key off the table. And as many of you all know, as soon as a drum key hits the carpet, it gets sucked into the abyss. So then you have to find another key, and it's just a never-ending cycle. So to fix this, I got a magnet, and I wasn't planning on this, but it actually fit right inside the little notch where you'd usually put a, uh, like a little key ring, so that's convenient. But if you didn't know, drum keys actually aren't made out of steel, so they're actually not magnetic, so this won't hold by itself, so that's where the Subaru comes in. So this is a pretty small area to fill, so I just broke off a small little piece, and then I filled the cavity on one side with it, and then I did the same thing on the other side, but I used less because the magnet is going to squish it out and fill the cracks. And then you just gotta smooth it over, and you got a magnetic drum key. So you probably noticed that I only used a little bit from the package, so while this is drying, I want to show you another option. So for my hi-hat stand, I'm going to take the remaining Suguru, roll it into a ball, and apply it to the base of the stand. Then I will take my drum key and squish it straight into the center of the ball. So you'll notice it's kind of ugly right now, but the longer you work it, the better it'll look. Also, you want to make sure that you fold the flaps in pretty close to each other before they dry, because when they do dry, they'll be flexible. And now it's the next day, both of these are dry, and you can see that the magnet will now stick to anything that's, you know, steel. So this will live on my table, but you can put it on your shelf, your lamp, or anything else that's magnetic, like your hi-hat stand. And then here is the dedicated drum key holder for the hi-hat stand, and you can see it fits right in. So in previous videos, I've talked about ways to protect your bass drum hoop from your pedal clamp, but I think I came up with the end-all be-all solution. So I started by cleaning off the pedal clamp, and to get in between the little teeth, I used a little pick to really clean it good. And once it was clean, I flattened out some black Suguru and applied it to the bottom of the clamp. And you'll notice that there's a fair bit hanging over, so I just took a razor blade and cut off the excess. 
And like I said before, when Sugaru dries, it's flexible and has a rubbery surface to it, so this will work great as a pedal clamp. So with the excess that I cut off, I actually found this clip. This is a clip from a rope light, but I have a drum key that fits right into the clip. It's the same key and the same clip on this wooden drum key stand that I made. So I decided with the excess Sugaru, I would mount it to my throne. So I put some of the Sugaru on the back of the clip and then pressed it onto the throne. And then I took the rest of it and applied it to the top part of the clip so it would really hold it in place. So 24 hours later, both of these have dried. So no more scratched up bass drum hoops and yet another home for a drum key. So this last one is the one I'm most excited about. And now that you all know how this stuff works, you know where I'm going? How about now? Yeah, we're making practice tips. So I really have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out together. So all I did was apply it to the tip of the sticks, and I was trying to think of a shape that would be easy to make and easy to replicate from stick to stick, so I decided on a barrel shape, so all I did was roll it on the table, and basically that gave me the shape that I wanted. And then it's also important that you let these dry in free space, you don't want to like rest it on a table or else you get a flat spot. So I had the two sticks clamped in this little vise, but if you don't have a vise, you can just hang them off the side of the table. So I had the sticks that I just made, and actually these this pair of sticks wasn't that great of a pair to begin with because if you listen, they sound pretty off. So then I made another pair with these. These are the Mike McIntosh signature sticks made by Innovative Percussion, but also these aren't that great of a pair because they're actually the, uh, the factory rejects, so there's no you know writing on it. Uh, but if you listen. This one is way heavier than this one. And then I also have a pair of the original Skojos. They don't make these anymore. Well, they do make them, but they're called something else because a couple years ago, Scott Johnson and the Blue Devils switched to uh, Promark, so obviously Vic Firth doesn't sell these with his name on it anymore. So, uh, we'll see how they sound. So here's the first pair with Sugru. And they work just fine. Again, they sound a little off. That's just because of the sticks, though. And now the second pair of Sugru sticks. And they work just fine. And again, these sticks aren't exactly pitch perfect, so they sound a little different. And then just for comparison, these are the Skojos. And of course, they work just fine. So really the only difference in these sticks is the durometer or the hardness of the tips. So the Skojos, they're softer and they're quieter, but because they're softer and more bouncy, the rebound just doesn't feel as natural. And the Sugru is a little bit harder and because of that, it's not as quiet as the Skojos, but when you play with them, it actually feels like you're playing on an actual drum. And of course the table I played on has absolutely no marks on it. So yeah, this video was kind of long, but if you made it this far, I'm curious to know what your favorite hack was. And also the thing I love so much about Sugaru is like, it just forces you to think and to, you know, get creative. So if you guys have any ideas about how you would use it around your drum set, I'd definitely love to hear them. But yeah, big shout out to Sugaru. There's like a million and a half uses for this stuff. So definitely check out their website. But if you're in this sort of video and want to support what I do, I have a Patreon page you can check out. I also sell stickers, there's a link in the description. But uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.